culinary master who's seen both sides of the deep fryer, Chef Taco. Hello, I'm Taco the Octopus, and tonight I'll be cooking your dinner. Uh, do we really need this? Uh, the lawyer says yes. <sighs> One chatterhead blows up his kitchen and suddenly. Ah! What the? Oh, jumper. Ow, that stings. Okay, go, go. <laughs> Hello, again. Now, assuming my lawyers approve, I thought tonight we'd cook something from the aquatic bug category. I am, of course, talking about shrimp. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's try that again. Isn't he adorable? This would be your average Gulf White, a favorite of fishmongers and fine supermarket seafood counters everywhere. Last year, nearly a billion pounds of shrimp were consumed in the United States, much of it imported from farms in Asia and South America. This fellow, however, came direct from the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, I think he's been with me since Mardi Gras. I'm going to set our friend aside for now, but we'll come back to him later. As an octopus and a former resident of the Big Blue, I do happen to know a thing or two about shrimp. But this guy knows three. Say hello to the shrimp captain. Hey, I be the shrimpin' captain. Ahoy, captain. Welcome to the show. Arr. So, you know a lot about shrimp. Hey, this shrimp be tasty, but the wild leave is to tame. Really? How interesting. Tell us more. Shrimp serve as kept on ice, so we freeze them right there on the boat. If your local fishmonger sells them fresh, that just means he throw them out for you. I always buy shrimp uncooked and fully dressed in their shells. Arr. That means getting your hands dirty. So if you be a Nancy boy, you best stick to Pop-Tarts and TV dinners. <laughs> be sure to cook them with their clothes on. The shells are full of flavor and keep the meat from getting as tough as the skin of an old salty dog. Arr. One last secret I'll pass along. If you be heading out to sea, be sure to bring company along. I'd be a sad, sad sailor without my Brittany. Arr. <laughs> well, um, that's very interesting, but, um, back to the show. Be sure to brine, um, be sure to brine your shrimp before cooking, and most importantly, use a dry cooking method for preparation, such as broiling, pan searing, or grilling. Some moist cooking methods are okay, boiling in beer, for example, but the desert heat does wonders for the shrimp's taste and texture. Speaking of dry topics, have you ever wondered where broilers come from? Oh, it's a fascinating story. It all began back in the Stone Age. But that's nothing compared to the first time I tried to deep fry a giant squid. Boy, was he mad. I remember it like it was almost... What? Did you forget to pay the electric bill? <sighs> the people I work with, I tell you, lazy son. That is what we get for filming in California. Haha. <laughs> Um, uh, I, um, I, um, uh, I don't suppose you're from the power company. Hmm? No? Okay, then. Bye. Aye, tis the devourer of the deep, the king prawn, bane of the shrimp fisherman, and all who would feed upon his crustaceous kin. There be no escaping the king prawn. Were it not for my Brittany, I'd have long ago gone mad from fear. Arr, baby, hit me one more time. It, uh, might be worth mentioning that, uh, microwaving shrimp? Really bad idea. You'd be 
surprised how often this happens. Ouch! Great with shrimp. No shrimp dish will be complete without a little olive oil. You gotta have fresh ground pepper, and a little obey never hurts, and, and of course some lemon juice, and just to kick it up a notch, is it nah. As I was saying, dry cooking methods are definitely the best for shrimp. And be sure to watch closely. As soon as the meat's opaque, your shrimp is done. Well, that's it for shrimp. If you still thirst for knowledge, be sure to check out the special cooking tips sprinkled throughout the show. If it's recipes you're after, you'll find three terrific shrimp dishes in the appendix. Happy cooking! Arr, octopus. What did you do to my Brittany? Uh, see you next time! Arr. I wonder if the toy store will be open. Ah!